Welcome back, everybody. Uh, bloggers Dan and Scott are here. Their blog is Platter Tape, uh, Platter Talk. Uh, local guys from Nina who love to cook and kind of turn their passion into uh, cooking and photography. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it's wonderful. Check it out. So let's talk about what we're making. Well, this is a chilled blueberry soup. I was telling Amy, I wait all year round for fresh, beautiful blueberries. And you can see we've got those today. These came from the Elkhart Lake Farmer's Market just this past weekend. They're gorgeous. Thank I mean, you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Incredibly gorgeous. I know. I, I could live on these all year oh, round. And you so know they're pretty. so healthy for you. Yeah, they are. They're really, really good for you. I remember the first time I had a cool fruit soup, and I was a little like, ah, what in the world is this going to be? Fell in love with it. And I think it's a lot, a lot of people don't think soup like a tomato soup. This is more of a uh, cool, mm -hmm. refreshing summer appetizer course. Absolutely. Yep. Snack. It could be a great dessert at the end of a, a light Absolutely. meal. Absolutely. Um, uh, but it's served chilled, and it's not at all savory, right? It's a more no. of a sweet no. soup. No. Um, it's so your blueberry pie without the pie crust. Love it. Why Love not it. have it right in the beginning of dinner, right? Uh, <laughs> and the color is amazing. So, okay, we're going to start with... Well, we'll start over here. Okay. Uh, this recipe calls for four cups, or we just use two pints of market fresh blueberries. Okay. And if you can pick them yourself out in the wild, if you know where to go, uh, that's even better. Okay. So this... This bowl or this saute pan is a little bit uh, small for our purposes, but what we would do is add a half a cup of sugar okay. and one cup of orange juice. Okay. All good things, Amy. Yeah. And I'll tell you, the orange juice and the blueberries, they're a match made in heaven. Kind of work together. Absolutely. Huh? Okay, so that's pretty much the base of the soup. We're going to add some cream in a little bit. First, we're going to put just a little bit of nutmeg in, not much at all, and maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love cinnamon, but I've got to tell you, this, this combination really picks up on that flavor. So okay. use a little caution. Uh, don't overdo it. Okay. This is all about the blueberries, is what it, we were saying. Actually, it is, and okay. summertime. Yep. We can't okay. forget that, and we're chilling out here today with you. So then we're going to simmer this. We uh, are. Dan. We're going to bring it to a quick boil, okay. which Scott has done already over here. And as you can see, heating the berries changes their characters. They take on more of a, almost a cherry color. The mm -hmm. skins start mm -hmm. to pop and the juices get incorporated with the orange juice. Okay. So that's exactly what we want. So I think that's pretty cool now, isn't it, Scott? Okay. Yep. What you really want to do is after you bring this to a boil, and actually it doesn't take long, as Dan is saying, you want to uh, put this off to the side and let it cool down because the next step we're going to do is blend this up. You okay. don't want a hot mixture going no, directly into the blender. No, that is not a good thing. Otherwise your entire kitchen will wear purple. So, uh, <laughs> Amy, can you do, the, do us the honor and, and cut this lemon? I can. That'd be great. And just put one half of the juice in it. Here's a, a juicer we've okay. got. You can okay. Just put it in right over the pan. You betcha. <coughs> so we want to get the other way there. Fresh. Yeah, this is a wonderful. I don't thing. use one of these fancy <laughs> contraptions. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's it one of my great. favorite things in the kitchen. Okay. Just squeeze it good. That's great. Okay. Okay. So now, originally, this recipe called for us to put it in a food processor. And the first time we did this in the food processor, we had a disaster extraordinaire. We, f we filled it uh, beyond the maximum volume, uh, liquid volume level on the food processor. So if you're using a food processor, be very aware of that level. We found that using a, a blender works just as good, in fact, maybe even better, and I think it's a little bit more convenient. It's, it'll get things smoother. Right. Um, it, it does. Sure. It yeah. really does. So into the blender, this all goes okay, and we want as much a tight as you can. Fitting lid, and we're just about oh. at the end of the uh, finish line here. That's okay. So There's we'll get lid. that going, and then the heavy cream comes in when? Uh, right at the just before we serve it. Okay. So, so how's that look? Very good. gorgeous. Do okay. it to the consistency that you like. If you okay. want it to be a little chunkier, have it a little bit chunkier. So now what we're going to do, which we won't do here because it takes a little bit of time, we would put this in the refrigerator just as is right now. Okay. And allow it to cool. And the last couple steps, because we're running out of sure, time. Sure. We add one pint of half and half, half and or half. cream or okay. milk. Okay. It'll, it'll give you the same velvety character okay. that you're looking yep. for. And look, here it is. Absolutely beautiful. And then Greek yogurt to top it oh, off. Oh, yeah. It out. Absolutely. Or even a dash of sour cream, and there you have it, yum, folks. Yum. Guys, thanks so much. Again, the blog, check it out. Platter Talk. We'd love to have you on again when we have a We'd little more time. We'd love to be time. back. We'll All bring right. you an apron. All right. Thanks, thanks very much. You betcha. We'll be back. Stay with us.